Hi, thank you for watching the Intervention Channel. My name is Steve Bruno. I've been a professional interventionist for many years. I'm actually on an intervention right now. You can see I'm in a hotel room out in Scottsdale, Arizona, I'm trying to scoop this guy up. So, um, making some videos, and this one is on the subject of problems during transport. Um, it can be very unnerving to have someone in agreement to go to treatment and then have problems during the transport. I actually had a girl, I gotta remember, 18 years old, nasty heroin addiction. And she was just nervous as shit. I mean, I, I you know, I, I was driving her in and she jumped out of the car at a stop sign and ran down the street. Uh, luckily, I was with her father. We were all gonna go in, he wanted to see the place. So we we're all going to drive down there and he went after her and we were able to retrieve her. Um, you, you, you can be aggressive in your pursuit of somebody if they're jumping out of a car, but you know, you want to just, you want to pull it back to baby steps for the person, right? Let's just go look at the place. Listen, we're on our way. We're going. Let's just at least go look at the place. If you want to run away, you know, that's up to you, but let's not run away here. You, you haven't even seen the, the, the place yet. Something like that. You know, you want to just give them a little something. You don't want, if they're running away, you know, you don't necessarily want to load them up with a bunch of heavy significances. You know, in other words, like, oh, you've got, you know, you've got this drug at you. You're a drug addict. You need to go to rehab. You've got to get out of here. You know, this is no good. Blah, blah, blah. Start putting them down and, you know, making them wrong and crushing them down and all that. All you're going to do is cause them to speed up. <laughs> you're not going to cause them to slow down with that. If you think you're going to cause them to slow down with that and you're sure you're going to cause them to slow down with that, that's fine. I mean, I'm a big believer in what works, right? Interventions are like playing a game of chess. I've used this analogy before during a train wreck, right? You're on the train, you're playing a game of chess. The cars are going off the track. Your car is turning upside down and you're still trying to play the game of chess. That's what interventions are like. So one thing you need to accept in pulling off an intervention is that they are a mess. It's a controlled mess, okay? Very few interventions uh, are A to B, right? Very few interventions, you go in, you make the offer, the person cries, agrees to go to treatment. That's a fucking pipe dream. Okay, that's not how interventions go. Interventions are uh, a controlled mess uh, at best, typically. Well, at best, actually, I've had, I've actually had interventions go A to B. They're rare. Uh, I have had them where I go in, I sit down. I always sit down with the person first uh, before anybody, you know, gangs up on them. Give them a chance to say yes. Um, often they don't know what the offer is going to be. They don't, you know, and I'm, I don't have any family history with the person. So occasionally I'll sit down with somebody and the intervention will go to A to B. But more often than not, uh, they don't. They're a controlled wreck. And at the end, you know, you've got to get the person in. If the person, if you hire a professional, a lot of people say, well, you take them in, right? You take them in. Well, if that was what works, if the person uh, goes after me, for example, which is also pretty rare, but it happens. Uh, if the person goes after me and uh, decides that I'm not his friend in any way, I'm his enemy or something like that, and wants to go in with the mom, let's say he and the mom are likely going to fight and he is likely going to blow, then the answer is no. Um, she needs to be busy. She needs to just say no, be honest, say, look, you know, I don't want to fight on the way in. Um, it can work. I mean, if the person has come around, but you, you know, it gets risky with family members with whom the addict has a lot of emotional charge. Um, so you want to uh, you say, look, you know, maybe you have a friend go with him. Whatever. Uh, going in alone is not a great idea. Um, the trip, I remember leaving Oakland and going to uh, my solution to my crack addiction at that time, that's what I was doing at that time, uh, was to go to New Orleans, which of course was just idiotic. 
but I cried, man. I cried. I, I left Oakland and I was very lonely. This was a very lonely trip. Going into treatment, very difficult to do that alone. That is a hard trip to make. It is, you know, emotionally, it's, it's lonely, it's, uh, it's embarrassing, it's extremely intimidating because you're going to go to a whole new place, you don't know anybody, you're supposed to be clean, what's expected of me, or am I going to be comfortable, am I going to be miserable, uh, all these questions swimming around in one's head. So anyway, um, problems during transport, the most important thing, it's baby steps and keep moving forward. I've had people, I've had a, had a woman split her head open. Uh, she fell, she was drunk, she fell and, you know, split, you know, wasn't that dr bad. I mean, she cut her head and, it, it, you know, head wounds tend to bleed quite a bit. So it was a very dramatic event, but, you know, I just kept rolling. I just kept going. I staunched the wound. I made sure she was okay. We stopped at a hotel and she got cleaned up, made sure she stayed awake, made sure uh, she, her clothes got clean, you know, got some hydrogen peroxide if you're ever dealing with blood. Hydrogen peroxide dissolves it like that. So got the hydrogen peroxide, cleaned up her clothes, and uh, got back on the road and uh, arrived and got her to the hospital. And, you know, so, um, so just keep moving, keep moving forward. Okay, um, that story is actually in my book in a chapter called Sherry in the section, My Exploding Workshop, in my book, More Than Hope, which is available on Amazon and Kindle. I have a link below for you if you wanna click on that and buy the book. Um, if you'd like to contact me directly, you can do so at my website, which is stevebruno.com. You can fill out the contact form. You can text me. My number is there. You can call me and you can uh, ask your question in the comments section below. If you're a professional, you want to hit the subscribe button that's about to come up. And if you are a professional or a family member who's trying to help a loved one, definitely hit the next video. It'll be in the graphic. Click next. And thank you for watching the Intervention Channel. I hope this has been illuminating for you. My name is Steve Bruno, and uh, I'll see you or you'll see me on the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.